Hello everybody and welcome back to CMP. I'm your host Ron and today we're going to do a filament review. Now the good folks at filaments.ca, which have their box right here, um, know me pretty well. I go there constantly whenever I need filament. I buy all my filament for them because, well, they're nearby, I don't have to go far, and I don't have to wait for shipping. So it all works out. So this was their old box of filaments.ca that they were using. Now, as you can see, there's this other box here. This box is their new box that they've started selling of a filament. I got a rule right here to show you some ideas of the examples of different ones. So this is their naturally safe, naturally strong filament. This is known as the EcoTuff. Now EcoTuff is going to be replacing this box of their filament only because this is better, apparently. And I have some information here about the filament on the trusty Dundee iPod. And yes, there will be links to this in the video. So according to their um, filament, made from 100% premium grade, plant-based, virgin raw material design specified for 3D printing. Absolutely no additives or modifiers. Extremely smooth and tough. 100% strong, stronger than standard PLA and much stronger than most PLA plus blends. I guess they mean stronger than the eSun, which is a, this is their plus brand. The filament is completely non-brittle and will not snap, break at any point during, before, or after printing. That's nice. Faster crystallization, improving bridging, performance overall finish, allows faster printing speeds, ideal for high resolution, small detail prints. We'll be testing that too. Also, it says, allows for a faster printing speed. Bonus. Warp free with good build plate adhesion. But we always want good build plate adhesion. Non-toxic, safe for use at home, office, school environment. Bonus. Improved mechanical properties. Then the main things. Plant-based, recyclable, non-odor, combustible, or compostable, I should say. And 100% biodegradable. Well, sounds all good in theory, but how is it for printing? Well, before we get into a little bit of printing, I want to show you guys the box a little bit more closely. So instead of it being the gray, it's now red, it says EcoTuff on it. Inside the box is this film. There will be close up shots, don't worry, so you guys can have a better look. But I just want to go over a few things right here that you can't that you can see in the video. Number one, they have two different gauges. So if you're depending on what filament you're using, these windows will give you an idea of how much you have left. Nice bonus. Once again, this label goes right around. The old label itself it used to be just a sticker that said filaments.ca. And on the other side, it had this little indicator. Me. The little indicator helped a little, but not by much. This indicator is a lot better from what I've been told. And also what I love about it is this index card. And yes, I will zoom in on this so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. Let me just read what it says on here, okay? White Material EcoTuff PLA. Dot DIA, I guess that's a thickness of the filament, is 1.75 millimeters. No, uh, weight. One kilogram. If you notice, there's like a number here that says 333M. That is how long the filament is. So if you're like gauging how long your filament is, or you got a print that you're doing and you want to know how long it's going to be, boom, got it right here. Nozzle, 190 or 230C. Temperature to print at, I usually print at 200 with any type of their filament. I find 200 seems to be efficient. Bed 60 to 80, I usually do it at 60. They also give you a batch number. In case there's a problem with the batch, you can easily look it up on their website, find out that uh, there's a problem with your batch number. Bonus. And also, I love this, empty spool. Empty spool is very important when you're, we when you're weighing a uh, filament. Say you come to the point where you're like, okay, my filament's wet. It's just wet. Nothing you can do about it. It doesn't matter what you do. It's just bubbling in the nozzle. 
you're like, fine. This at least tells you how much the spool weighs so that when you're reheating your filament to get it wet out, get all the wet out, you know exactly how much that spool weighs so you know how long to time your timer for on your filament dryer. That is very important. So you don't over dry your filament out. You know, I've got Prosper Props and that is a great option. So why don't I get a couple things sliced on the slice in the Cura. We're gonna be using Cura 3.6. I'm going to slice out a few items, I'm going to have a look at them, and uh, we'll have a better look at all of them. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, the prints are done. So I printed, the first one I printed was a vase, and the vase turned out flawless. Uh, it's pretty strong, very rigid. I can't break off the fins. This turned out really well. And even when I squeeze the top here, there's no cracking. There's no um, visible wear or tear to it. It's, it's really strong. The Benchy, on the other hand, I found a few issues with the Benchy. And this is my own mistake. I had it too close to the bed. So the CT3D uh, logo cannot be seen on this. That's my fault. I had the nozzle too close to the bed. After readjustments again, I decided to do the Sailor Moon figurine. This figurine has always given me a hassle to print, especially when using um, with using any type of uh, way of printing this out. It seems to always, the hair seems to have issues and everything else. This did remarkably better than most filament does on the hair. Except for, because I was using also this time around, I actually turned on tree supports by accident. I wanted to print it without supports. So the supports kind of uh, got caught up in the hair here, as you'll see as I walk up here. Right in there, and right in here, there's, there seems to be some issues. But other than that, this filament did a better job than most of my other filaments do on this figurine. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And all in all, Vigo Tough did its job. It's a great filament. I have no complaints with this filament. Now, just to let you guys know, this was provided to me free of charge. So I can do a review on this stuff. No money was exchanged. This is my feelings on the filament. And yeah, so just let you guys know that this is 100% my feelings. No money was exchanged for this review. But I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did like what we did, I mean, this is our first filament review. If you'd like to see more types of reviews like this, you know, come to our website. Let us know. Uh, you can leave your comment down below. It's the best way for me to f find out. And if you like what we're doing, you know, check out the links below. Help support the channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.